Okay, so now we're gonna do some obedience. We're gonna do some training off, good boy. And what I like to do is grab the dog food. So I wanna measure out the dog food that I'm gonna feed my dog for the day. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, whatever you feed for the day, put it in a container. It could be a bag or a Ziploc bag or a Tupperware container, but then we have the food for the day and we can disperse it however we want to. It doesn't really matter. And so that way we're not feeding our dog anything extra. We're just using the food they're already gonna eat. So I'm gonna grab some food to start off with. And if dog food doesn't work and your dog's not paying attention and they won't listen, then you can use treats. I just like to do dog food at home. And when I'm going away from home, I like to use a better treat. So first off, we're gonna teach sit. And so I've got the treat. I like to put it under my thumb. And I like to have my palm facing the dog for the hand signal. So this hand signal looks like this, router sit. Good boy. And so once he has his chin up, his bottom will go down. He'll get off balance and he'll sit. Putting the treat under my thumb again. This time my palm is facing the sky. Router stand. Good boy. Router sit. Good boy. Good boy. Free. Router stand. Router stand. Good boy. Beautiful. And so if my hand signals are slow, it makes it easier for the puppy. Router, stand. Good boy. Good boy. So we've demonstrated several times, sit, hand above the head, and stand, hand at chin level. Stand, good boy. Router, sit. If your hand goes too high, they might jump. Have it at just the right spot. Once he's got it, I'll just say sit and he'll sit. But smell makes the brain work. So if we have a treat that smells good, it's gonna make our dog wanna follow. So this is called luring your dog, having them follow the treat. And luring works great for puppies. Router sit. Yes, sir, free. Okay, so now we're gonna do the down. I'm gonna start with the sit. Router sit, good boy. And I'm gonna pet him and hold his bottom. We're gonna go from the nose straight down to the ground, right in front of his feet, really slowly. And as he does it, name it. Router, down. Good boy. I'm just holding my hand slightly above the ground. Good boy. So that he can tunnel underneath my hand to get the treat. That's called down. And when he lays down, a belly rub is a really nice reward. See the food? Router, sit. Good boy. Holding the bottom this time, going down to the ground, down. Router down. Down. Good boy, what a good boy. Such a good boy. Very good boy. Free! <laughs> so if he's sitting down and I hold the bottom, then he can't get back up again. If we're starting from a stand, it's a little bit harder to do a down. And it can be done, I just usually do it maybe three days after they already know how to down. When down is new, I start with a sit first. When you're training your dog in obedience, doing sit, stand, and down, practice two to five minutes. That makes it short and sweet so your dog's having a good time without tiring them out. Happy training.